Hi folks, it's Max from GalaxyS2Root.com um, So I've got here Thunderbolt ROM, the latest version of Thunderbolt ROM for your Galaxy S2 GTI 9100 and the latest version is pretty darn awesome uh, let me show you around here and uh, inside settings here go to about phone um, you'll find Android 4.2.2 the latest Android 4.2.2 and uh, if you keep hitting on the build number you'll say you're a developer that'll bring you some additional menus developer options if you need it um, and uh, let me show you around it comes with four different launchers you can also just install one but I just installed all of them uh, the TouchWiz launcher Xperia launcher there uh, which is very nice and of course if you want to get um, Nova launcher you can get that too but let me just go ahead and show it to you with the TouchWiz launcher here and uh, also does with a couple different kernels uh, I which one did I install here? I install the uh, Dormax, the yeah, Dormax kernel, which comes with S Tweaks app, uh, which allows you to uh, overclock your phone, uh, which I highly recommend overclocking. And uh, you can overclock it almost all, all the way up to 1.6 gigahertz, but I recommend staying about 1.5 or 1.4. Um, that way you get good performance uh, while not draining your battery all the way and also if you want you can also turn this on CPU voltage main switch and uh, you can start uh, under volting your phone a little bit just bring everything a step down and that should give you much better battery life um, than without uh, underclocking just be careful um, test out uh, when you change these voltages maybe run quadrant or some graphic intensive uh, AC game just to make sure it's stable and uh, you know you can keep going down until you find your bottom point but um, you know just bringing a step down should work for most of the Galaxy S2's out there uh, which I'm doing here so I brought everything a uh, step down here there we go and this will kind of save you battery life um, but it's an experimental feature if you don't want to mess with it don't mess with it uh, but you can underclock using that feature and some more features you can use here uh, also GPU here you can overclock um, change the steps a little bit higher if you want and uh, let me go I changed the last step higher so it's gonna go a little bit higher there and also you can even change the voltage for the GPU uh, and sound BLN and more tweaks a ton of tweaks um, that comes with that kernel and uh, let me show you some of the other stuff for camera you get standard uh, camera here alright which comes with HDR also and a video recorder there we go a pretty nice ROM also you do get ROM full ROM control this is the same thing found on MR1 build, no, MR1 milestone one. So you get all of the features uh, from that, or I think this is actually from build six. Um, I have a full tutorial guide on how to use ROM control, so I'll have that link to it on my website. Um, you can check that out. Uh, but pretty nice ROM, and also performance control here. You can also use to overclock, but just use one of them. Uh, that way they, they won't like crash into each other. Uh, overall very nice ROM with a ton of launchers and a very good solid uh, solid foundation with the AOKP uh, ROM base kind of well it's not it's not sh uh, you know built from AOKP it's kind of a hybrid ROM so definitely check it out Thunderbolt latest version is uh, pretty solid and uh, you get the full Android 4.2 features AOKP ROM control a bunch of launchers and also some extra stuff um, so definitely check it out and also PlayStation there uh, and do let me know what you think of this ROM and as always if you have a Galaxy S2 don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxyS2root.com we update you once a week with ROM of the week tips hacks and more um, and also if you're on YouTube please hit that like button for me here subscribe button down there and I'll see you guys soon uh, stay high on Android